Hey Jeff, this is Carl with newseptic.net. I just wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how you can get started with your project um, on Princeton Avenue there. If you want to um, select your project from the table here, and I have a bunch of projects in here so I can filter my list by start typing in the Princeton um, road there. And if you click on this design button there, the red um, open rectangle or circle or a square, it'll get you to your design options. And you had mentioned that you wanted to design a system, a split mount system for test bore two and three. So I can go to the new septic mapping application by clicking on this button here. And new septic loads up the project. And since you put in the GPS locations for the test holes, and we should be good on having that load up as uh, the correct parcel for the, the map. So new septic loads up your parcel, um, which is in red here, and a 10-foot uh, buffer, and normally a 50-foot buffer too, but um, I was already looking at this, so I turned that off. You can turn off your layers here by clicking on this button here. Um, and it looks like you have um, new septic loaded up um, only one contour grid. You can load up additional contour grids that are missing by clicking on your tools and click on the contour uh, button and click wherever you want to add that additional contour grid. So new septic fetch that additional contour grid and First thing I like to do is just read the contour lines and what I'll do is I'll turn on the aerial image by clicking on local aerial image and exit out of this windows. So it looks like um, this is going to be a replacement. Uh, there's an existing house here possibly. So, um, And you had mentioned that you want to do a split mound in test board three and two areas two and three so um, it looks to me like um, what I would do at this point would be go back to my other tab here which has my uh, design options um, that I'm working on so what I would do is I would just click on the design for test board two and three either one it looks like they're the same loading rates that were generated um, for those so I would click on that design plan and new septic will roll up a workable plan for you at that point so every time you click on one of those calculator buttons from the previous page for any of the system types you can roll up a new workable plan so there are some details you can change but it would work um, and meet the code specs so it looks like we're having need we need a 178 foot trench uh, for the mound system and if you want to look at it this way there's two two laterals for a center feed mound and um, 89 foot laterals so if we split the mound if we would do two 89 foot um, laterals or, or two 89 foot mounds then we can figure that we can uh, split the mound that way. So what I'll, I like to do is um, I'll click on the tools button and get a measurement. So I'm gonna measure out here um, on this contour and the mounds have to be installed on the contour lines and do roughly eight, um, 89 feet. So swing that around to be more on the contour line and um, depending on how how these trees are situated and and what's going on there so we, we have to stay 10 foot off the property boundary which is the you can see that dashed line is the 10 foot boundary so i'll i'll just kind of tentatively uh, plan on having one of the mounds that way and draw the or grab the measure tool again and i'm going to measure out right on test board three and it looks like looks like it's cutting it pretty close to this driveway 
And just depending on how you want to lay it out on site and take some on-site measurements, this, you know, you may get, you may get out to the property and find that you can do, um, you know, a test or a, a 90 foot mound here and, and get by. But um, it's, it looks like it's a little bit too close. So what I would do is just on paper, um, I would uh, just draw my trench a little bit down the way. It looks like there's a lot more room down here. So I'm just going to grab the trench tool and draw out um, approximately the 89 foot. So double click, click once to start and double click for that to end it. And I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to remove this uh, measurement because we don't need this anymore. And I'll just select it by clicking on it once and click the delete button. Or you can go ahead and click this delete um, button up here. So. I'm going to grab the trench tool again. That's this tool here. And I'm going to start on the side and come a little off the 10 foot uh, parcel buffer. And do 89 foot double click. And the trench tool is unique because you can click on this and um, you can um, see these additional tools down here so you can you can click on the mound leaching trench field or low pressure pipe or a replacement so we want to draw mounds so if you click on the mound button it's going to bring this pop-up window up and what it does is it'll find that soil test that that is in the, the most recent vicinity of what you're drawing you know and it found that um, the soil there was 10 inches uh, observed um, before it hits the most limiting condition of the perch seasonal water table and for this county the required vertical separation distance is six inches and required in situ is six so new septic generated a six um, inch uh, sand treatment for this and developed some downslope and uh, upslope widths and stuff so if you click generate mound um, new septic will draw those on top of your trenches. So, so next, uh, when you're drawing any system, you'd want to check out and see if you could um, uh, draw your house. And with new septic, you know, with this aerial image, we can just kind of draw a trace over top of the existing dwelling. So click on the tools and click the house tool. And I just start tracing over top of that by clicking once uh, and moving my mouse to the next point, clicking again and clicking. And then when you want to finish it, just double click. And it asks, it'll pop you up uh, asking you for a label, you know, just click on uh, or, you know, you can type whatever label you want in there. Click save label. Um, I'll do the same thing for this garage, this outbuilding here. So click on tools, house, click, click, and then double click to finish and then label it. So I'll label it garage. I'd already typed in some of these. So, all right. So the next um, thing you do is just generate uh, a sewer main and a tank. So. I'm just guessing because we're going down slope here that the tanks are somewhere, you know, in this vicinity, if this is an existing system or replacement. So what I'll do is I'll just click on the tools button. New septic has four um, pipe tools to draw and it's color coded and it's pretty easy to just kind of keep track of what you're doing. So sewer main, click on that tool, start at the house. And, you know, obviously if you had insider information on where the sewer main is, um, you can do that uh, more accurately. So I just click once at the start of the house, double click to finish. And um, next I would draw some tanks. So um, new septic has four tank tools, uh, septic tank, dose tank, pretreatment tank, and what we call a treatment train tool. And it basically um, is where you can save a bunch of treatment trains that you may install uh, frequently. So you can click on this treatment train tool. I like to use that a lot. So click on the map where you want to draw the, the tanks. So I have all these um, saved lists of tanks that I previously um, had loaded in uh, to my treatment train list. Um, you can build your uh, treatment trains here. 
and then you know you can save them off when when you um, start drawing tanks on there so i'm going to use this union town four bedroom uh, because i'd already previously um, added that you know to my treatment train list click draw treatment train at this point i would shut off the aerial image so just to make my my drawings a little more clear so so new septic draws the tanks facing south so or, or flowing south so um, this would be your 2,000 gallon septic tank and this would be your your 10,000 or a thousand gallon dose tank so you can hold the shift key and select one um, select one and then hold the shift key and select the next the next one so you can um, you know move both of the tanks around the uh, on the drawing so let's just kind of line this up with the sewer main and you can click on the center of the tanks and move them like that so just kind of lining those up and now um, what you can do and frequently recommend you do is to save your map off so you can click this button save map up here you can also hold the control s um, keys and that will save your map and it's probably just best to save those uh, more frequently than not. So, so these, uh, the thing with split mounds is they, per code, they have to be installed 50 feet apart. And these definitely are 50 feet apart. And um, we can just add a measurement tool, um, add a measurement on the map, just to kind of show that double click to finish. And so these are 150 foot apart. They are on definitely different, um, elevation so um, that is definitely some of a concern when you're talking about the flow uh, pressure of these um, these systems uh, because this this one down here would should be under a higher pressure um, and this one up here would be not getting as much pressure due to the uh, the elevation differences um, I'm not sure if it would be significant or not but just the as a kind of fact that that's how it is. So what you can do is draw your force main tool now. So um, since we're looking at this as like a um, two lateral center feed and we're doing a split mound um, and each one of these is 89 feet long. Um, if, you, if you think about that as two separate mounds, two separate laterals, um, we could do two end feeds uh, here, so this could be the point of where the force main connects, and this would be the point uh, additionally where the force main connects. You could also do two center feeds here um, and have the force main come up here and split this uh, into two different um, locations that way. And that might be the easiest because you're dealing with this driveway here, and um, it might be easier that way. So, what we can do is um, click the force main tool and I'll just cl click them at the end. So new septic will, will kind of snap the force main to the ends of these trenches, which is a little pretty convenient there. So we can click here. So that's 172 feet, roughly double click to finish. If you want to um, edit, edit these lines at all, you can right click on the feature uh, or select it first and then right click and click edit feature and then you can this blue bot, blue dot will appear on the feature along the line and if you move click and hold it your uh, mouse you can you can add uh, some vertex points there and change the, the location of it so um, what I'll do is I'll click the force main tool again and I'll draw from the um, dose tank and I'll just connect it in the center uh, approximately. Just click off that. Sometimes if you click on the test hole and click it, click on that and move your mouse around, it'll think that you want to move the test hole. So if you just X out of that, so that's what that was doing. So, and here is the, uh, a rough sketch of like a possible split mound and I can zoom out here. So other things you can do to annotate up the map are you could 
click the tools, you could add a well, city water line, um, a benchmark, and uh, new septic has other features like adding uh, or exporting your GPS points if you had GPS units, uh, stuff like that. So definitely all these tools are explained um, in the guide here. So if you click on the guide, um, and all these tools are, are uh, explained here. So you can click on the print view now and New Septic saves the map and it loads up a printable uh, scale drawing here. And New Septic does a lot of the labeling for you. And what you need to do though is to clean it up a little bit by clicking this edit labels button. And you wanna select the feature you wanna tweak a little bit. So like you could select this like mound one. Um, so what you could do is like, you could label this like mound. Yeah, cause new septic has, okay. Like doubled up this width or the doubled up the label. So what you could do is just put mound one and draw it to the right. So that's mound one and then click the edit labels button and this whole long label you could just shorten it to mound two and then put that to the right so new septic will um, label those kind of like that so um, for the tanks you could um, tweak the labels of that too like uh, down here say you want to shorten this down to like union town you could just put you could just remove this like septic tanks incorporated and put put that and if you want to do that to the left you can spin the rotate the text um, you can change the text font the weight and the size if you wanted to offset it um, so like we save that there and um, for this you might want to put this on landscape format um, it kind of Throws that off a little bit, but um, so edit these labels again. Let's do the septic tank or the dose tank. Sorry. Move that to the left. So we can edit our sewer main. We could just shorten it to, let's say, 40 foot um, and move that to the left, save that. And the um, house, too, we could label the house. Maybe move that to the right, so that's down there. And um, so basically, um, what we could do now is uh, save these save this layout, save the labeling that we did. Um, we could click Show Legend on Map and do a print of that. So a new septic will add a legend to your proper uh, to your map. It's, this is a scaled map, one inch equals fifty. It kind of defaults to that scale. So um, so you could. Uh, Definitely print off a scaled map here with contours, um, building, anything you want to draw on the map and have it new septic just um, print this off. So that's a pretty quick demo. Um, I had a, an example of a, a recent a recent split mound I did, a design plan. And the only difference from the plans are is I have the on the hydraulic profile, I have this uh, split mound sheet kind of showing the, the elevations at each mound, you know, the existing grade and um, and then the mound height and stuff like that. So like E and F mound top of pipe. And then I just put really just use that, um, have a custom um, set up for mound one and two details. So I am going to just see if I can get a call and do a demo with you, but this would be like a quick overview on on what we can do for a split mound. 
and um, I'll just talk to you here soon and uh, get this worked out for you. Thanks.